Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad you spend a little time with me today. Uh, what we're going to talk about today are some uh, dishonest ingredients. I don't know if that's the right word I want to use for this one, but toxins that are found in a lot of household items because a lot of times you're using things that are causing problems. And in fact, uh, just a day or so ago, I gave a lecture. It was up in North Georgia. It was to a, a men's group, a men's retreat. And it was on men's health, and so we were able to talk very openly. I'm going to – I hope uh, hopefully I recorded it. I, I'm not too good at that stuff, and I, I'll put it on my YouTube channel like I do with all my lectures. And we covered a lot of things in men's health, and I, I didn't even really get to nutrition on that because I only had an hour. And we talked about other things that are affecting men's health. And, in fact, not long ago, uh, one of my uh, listeners and, and patients, he sent me an email, and he says, what's the deal with women's voices lately? They're not sweet and soft like when I was a kid. And this guy's probably, I don't know, 60, 70. And he said, uh, it's not sweet and soft like they were when I was a kid. It's got to be all those hormones that people are getting. So if you've listened to the show before, you know I cover a lot about nutrition. I cover how the body works. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chiropractor. We discuss the nervous system, the digestive system. But we really need to cover other issues as well because there's a lot of things that go into getting healthy. It's, it's a lot harder to be healthier now than it was 20 years ago. The easy part is there's a lot more information now than there was 20 years ago, but we didn't need as much information either because we didn't have a lot of the toxic chemicals. So if you're learning about these things, and people do this all the time. In fact, when I was lecturing uh, the other day, there was a couple of guys in the group, and they just didn't want to hear it. They were just, you know, jokingly arguing with me like, Doc, you ain't going to take away my barbecue. And I said, I'm not going to take away your barbecue. You're absolutely right. But I can give you information as to what happens if you do eat barbecue and then options you might have. For example, if you're going to eat barbecue meat, if you marinate it with an acid like vinegar or lemon juice and you add some rosemary to it and you marinate it overnight, you reduce the amount of toxic uh, carcinogenic chemicals in barbecue by about 90%. So there's options. There's always an option. I'll negotiate anything with you. You're my listener. You're my patient. You're my friend. I'll negotiate with you any way I possibly can to help you get through this transition because it's kind of tough. In fact, Johnny, can I talk about you, Johnny, on the air? Give me, give me a thumbs up. from. Okay, Johnny's saying yes. Okay. Right before the show, Johnny, our screener, he says, all right, Doc, I'm going to go back on my good diet. He says, I'm going to give up my sugar. Because he did it a while ago, and he felt better. Yes, thumbs up, Johnny. Yes, okay, felt better, and he lost have a lot of weight, and uh, 25 pounds, and now you're 50, and now you're right, 15, and now you're right back where you started from, right? Okay, so I'm picking on Johnny here. Um, but it's a lifestyle, and there's a lot of things that go and come into play. In fact, years ago, if I, you and I were having a, a talk, if I, you know, 30 years ago when I do a lecture on weight loss, I would say that, uh, 3,500 calories. If you eat more, if you eat more than 3,000, if you eat in excess of 3,500 calories for every 3,500 calories you eat, you'll gain a pound. If you cut out 3,500 calories, you'll lose a pound. It really was that easy. And it doesn't work that way anymore because we have so many toxic chemicals and things that actually cause you to gain weight. And so if, again, if this is the first time you're hearing this, you might get a little frustrated and I hear this all day, every day from my listeners. You send me emails and you, you call my office, you come in as patients and you say, why didn't somebody tell me this sooner? Why have I never heard this before? That's why we do this show. We give you information you're not going to get anywhere else. You know, the general public isn't going to get it anyway. And so that you can make better decisions because I don't want you to be one of those people that say to me, Dr. Joe, why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I get my spine worked on? Why didn't I fix my diet? Why didn't somebody tell me that the perfume I was wearing could actually be causing problems? I have a headset on right now. I forgot to bring my headset with me, and there was one here in the studio, and I have it on. It smells like cologne. And this cologne has chemicals in it that we'll talk about if we get to it called phthalates. And phthalates are endocrine disruptors. They mess with your hormones. Gentlemen, they mess with your testosterone. So you're trying to be cool and smell pretty so the girls like you, and you're knocking out your testosterone. Not a good thing to do, is it? So you have this new stuff to you. I, I, I'm glad you're finally getting it because it's information you need to hear. So let's go through a few chemicals. If you have a question, I'll open up the phone lines too. We had a lot of callers last week, and I didn't want to leave anybody short. If you have a question, the phone lines are open. Anything on, on health, uh, nutrition, uh, the brain work, uh, it's 844-44-DR-JOE, uh, 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, my website, which... Isn't going to do any good now, but if you want to go to my website, we archive our radio shows there. We archive my videos when I do lectures, and it's drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world, and you can listen to hundreds of hours of archive radio shows, watch videos, my gift to you, no charge. 
because I know this show is heard across uh, across the country, you know, coast to coast and around the world. And so some people don't get a chance to hear it if they're in different time zones, but we archive everything for you, and it's all no, no charge to you. And a lot of articles that I've written are there, books I've written are there, so a lot of good stuff there. All right, so a couple of chemicals. we got so much to cover, and the lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Read the ingredients. Why don't you pull out your labels and look at things? And this is something that really concerns me. I'm going to start out with children because this is something I think needs to be taken care of because we're poisoning our children. Things like SLS and PEG. Now, what does that mean? Sodium lauryl sulfate and polyethylene glycol. These are chemicals that are put in things like baby shampoo, kids' bubble bath, even regular shampoo, soap, shower gels. Why would we put a chemical that we know causes problems in something we're going to rub on our skin? Well, what they do, they're sudsing agents. They make things foamy. And what's interesting with soap, soap doesn't have to foam to work. I don't know if you remember, God, what was the name of that soap? I can't remember it now when I was a kid. It was a black bar, uh, no, brown bar. It was really rough. It didn't suds, but it worked really well. And sudsing is kind of just something that we put in there to make you think you're getting something. But things don't have to suds up to work. I use Castile soap. Castile, Castile soap is a liquid. It's usually made with an oil and maybe some essential oils as well. And likes dissolve likes. So if you're using an oil-based soap, you put it on your skin, it's going to dissolve the oil in your skin and get the dirt off. Works wonders. Love Castile soap. The only kind I, I use anywhere in my house. If I'm somewhere where I don't have my Castile soap, if I'm on vacation or something, I'm visiting family or something, I didn't have Castile soap, I'm amazed that the, suds, the stuff that suds up just doesn't rinse off. The Castile soap, you put it on, rinse it off, and it's done. You save so much time, you're probably saving money because you're not using as much water, and it's better for you. But when you suds it up, that sudsing agent takes a little longer to wash off. So why is it bad? These chemicals are manufactured, or when they're manufactured, they release a byproduct called 1,4-dioxane. This chemical easily penetrates your skin and may cause things like birth defects and even cancer it's been linked to. It may also be toxic to your kidneys, your neurological system, and your respiratory system. Now I'm a chiropractor. I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, retired dietitian, award-winning author. My books sell like crazy. And of course, this show is, um, as far as I know, the largest health and wellness program in the country right now. And people come to us and they want to get their nervous system working. They might have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. They may have organs malfunctioning because the nerves aren't working. And so I sit down with the patients, my doc, team of doctors and I, and we want to get the nervous system working the best it possibly can. So many times what we'll do is we'll try to get the nervous system working and the digestive system working, and we'll do chiropractic work on it, but you have to take care of it chemically. All right, that music means i got to go to a break. Folks, if you have a healthcare question, 844 doctor Joe, my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. 844 doctor Joe. Hey, tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Hey, tell your friends about the show. We'll be... Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad to spend a little time with you today. Hope everybody's having a great day. I found a new, new headset here. My, the headset I had on before, I, I forgot mine at home. Everybody did it. Mod forgot his. Johnny forgot his. We all forgot our headsets today. I found some now, though. Oh, you found some? <laughs> I, did they smell like... I procured them. Oh, you, you procured. You, you're borrowing them, right? Exactly. Okay, good. <laughs> I found the pair I was using just stunk like cologne. I'm thinking, how do you put cologne on your ears? I didn't get that. Oof. I found one that doesn't stink, though. These are nice, too. I don't know whose these are, but these, these are better than my own. <laughs> no, I'm not going to take them. That's, that's bad karma, man. You don't want bad mojo happening. All right, so let's talk, talk about uh, uh, perfume and colognes. There's a chemical going to call phthalates. Anything that lists fragrance on the label. Uh, plus some nail polishes, also vinyl flooring, windows, plastics. These contain chemicals called phthalates. And these plasticizers, they used in plastic, they do everything from making your nail polish stronger and more flexible. They make your personal care products and air fresheners smell good. But phthalates can t typically turn up in uh, polyvinyl chloride plastics too, like shower curtains. You know that smell of plastic? These are all phthalates. And when they get into the body, why are they bad? 20 years of research suggests that phthalates can mess with your hormones and they damage your reproductive health. When I first got into practice 32 years ago, very seldom did I ever see a patient come in, men or women, that had trouble getting pregnant. Every now and then we'd have one, but it was rare. Very seldom did we have men have issues uh, with their performance. Let's leave it at that. And now it's extremely common. It used to be old guys, really old, like in their 70s, you know, really old people. And now I'm seeing guys come in in their 20s having issues. 
And a lot of that has to do, I believe, with things like phthalates and chemicals that are affecting their hormones. So it's especially critical to pregnant women, babies, young children. You need to stay clear of that. So if you're around children, please, I'm begging you, don't wear perfumes, don't wear colognes, don't have air fresheners. I've seen this already in the daycare centers, and they have these air fresheners because, you know, kids stink. And they have these air fresheners everywhere. And I'm thinking, my God, you're destroying these kids' lives. And who knows what long-term effects this is going to cause because you want to cover up the smell of kid. Now, there are natural things you can use. I don't know, like cleaning is one option. But you can use uh, essential oils work real well. Natural potpourris work real well. But when you get these cheap uh, things that you just plug in the wall or you know, lift it up and, and the smell comes out, these are some really serious chemicals. Now, again, as a chiropractor, why, why, why would I care if you're exposing yourself to these chemicals? Because the nervous system controls everything. And if your hormones are off, your hormones can be affecting your nervous system, and the nervous system can be affecting the hormones, and you're not going to get the results you want. And then you come to my doctors and you say, well, you know, you know, Dr. Gale, I'm just not getting the results I wanted. You know, Dr. Irwin, I was hoping by now I'd see better results. It rarely happens. But when it does, usually we sit down with the patient, we do an analysis, we do a food diet on them, we do a diet diary, we do a workup, and it turns out that they're doing things that are fighting us in their progress. So if you want to become our patient, we'd love to have you as a patient, even if we have to do it over the phone, because I know, this, like I said, this show's heard all over the country, all over the world. We can do it on Skype, too. We've done that before. But we want you to do what we say, because you're going to get better results in most cases. So stay away from Look for non-vinyl alternatives when you're purchasing things, like a, a, you can do a, a cloth shower curtain instead of a plastic one. If you have a plastic one or anything plastic, open it up and air it out. Let the stink get out. A gal I knew a while ago, she had bought a new bed, one of the, the soft foam beds, and she started getting severe headaches. Couldn't figure out what's going on. And so what happened was uh, she had finally realized, this is even before I had met her, that she'd sleep in her old bed, didn't have the problem, slept in the new bed, had a problem. So she would air it out every day, open up the windows, air it out, and it took about six months. And then it stopped smelling, and her headaches went away. So here you are thinking you're doing something good. You buy a new bed, and you're thinking, well, the bed is causing neck pain. The bed, the bed is causing headaches. It might not be the bed. It might be the smell from the bed. So anything that smells not natural is probably going to have a lot of these chemicals in it. If you're going to get manicures and pedicures, a lot of chemicals in those places, folks. So not only is the chemical they're putting on you, but you being in there inhaling those chemicals, not a good idea because those toxic chemicals, when they get into the system, can be really dangerous to you. So what we're talking about today are dishonest ingredients. I mean, they're not dishonest. They're not telling you that they're good for you, but they're not telling you that they're bad either. And that's why I wish you would know these things so that you can make better decisions. And usually when I do shows like this or lectures like this, people say, you know, Dr. Joe, I never thought about it, but I started having whatever your symptom is, headaches, numbness, tingling, the day I started using this new cologne, this new uh, dryer sheet. They cut it out, goes away. And people say, you're so smart. Well, yeah, but still, you could just give it up yourself. If you have a question, the lines are open. 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Bad chemicals. Somebody came to me, uh, was it yesterday, as a matter of fact, and said, look at, this, look at this lipstick. It's a new lipstick, and it's supposed to stay on all day. doesn't wear off. Take a look at it. What do you think? And I looked at it. It had a lot of natural ingredients in it. And I thought, oh, excellent. Very good. And then it had parfum, P-A-R-F-U-M. Parfum, you would think it's like perfume. Well, that's okay. Well, the parfum are the, the toxic chemicals, the artificial chemicals. So they went through all this work to put these natural ingredients into this lipstick that actually looked pretty good. And then they added the one toxic chemical to it. And why do you want your lipstick to smell anyway? It didn't make any sense to me. So, All right, other chemicals, TEA and DEA. Mascara, concealers, sunless tanning lotion, Conditioners, TEA and DEA are proteins that use to adjust the pH of a product or use as a wetting agent. Now, pH is, par, uh, is how acid something is. The TEA is, a, is combined with certain preservatives. It can create cancer-causing compounds called nitrosamines. So isn't that a kick in the head? Here you are using a, an agent, something to make yourself look pretty, and you're increasing your risk of cancer. So check your product labels and make a point to avoid something. T, TEA, like, the, like tea like you drink, and DEA. Stay away from those, folks. And they're everywhere. So that's why you're seeing the trend now, and this is a big trend, people going toward the more natural makeups. 
And from what I understand, talking to gals that use them, they like them a lot better. They're not as greasy. They don't smell. They're, they're, they don't stain the clothes. They're better for you all the way around. So there's no reason why you wouldn't want to be doing these things. Now, it might cost a little bit more, but lowering your risk of cancer is worth it. I bought shoes the other day. I always wear Merrill shoes. I'm a free plug there for them. And uh, they, they had a little tear in it. Brought it back to the store, and it had a one-year guarantee on it. Went back to the store. I said, hey, this little thing on the, on the shoe tore. No problem, sir. Would I get another pair? Yes. Went and got them. Cost a little more, but that's my insurance policy. And you're going to save so much money if you're healthy. You're not going to have to worry about that. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a health care question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Uh, free radio shows to listen to. Uh, watch videos of my live lectures. Send me questions if you have them. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Hey, tell your friends about the show. I'll be right back. Hey, tell your friends about Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm having a wonderful day, too. And what we're talking about today, not usually I talk about food, uh, you know, by, and, and what, what to eat, what not to eat. But today we're talking about the ingredients that are in a lot of things aside from your food. And I want you to understand that it may not be your food. Well, probably is your food that's causing a lot of problems. But there's other things as well. And you have control of these things. And that's the thing that I tell my patients, that I... I can help you from the chiropractic standpoint. We can put bones back in place. If you have acid reflux, if your stomach is pushed up against your diaphragm, we might be able to pull your stomach down away from the diaphragm to help with the acid reflux and the heartburn and the burping and the gas and the bloating because a lot of health care is physical, not chemical. And so many times people want to treat it treated chemically. I have a headache. I'm going to take an aspirin. Is that a bad thing? Well, not necessarily. If I have a headache, I'd probably take an aspirin. But then I want to ask myself a question. Why do I have this headache? And traditionally, we as chiropractors would be able to check the spine, see if anything's out of place, put it back in place, and it would help the headaches. And we get really good results with pain. Chiropractors are really good with pain. In fact, um, I, I know uh, the Georgia Chiropractic Association is launching a big campaign on uh, the opioid crisis that's going on and how so many different healthcare professionals, including the state's attorneys generals, are now recommending that you, see, you seek alternative treatment before going for the medication. So this is something that we've been talking about for over 100 years as holistic practitioners. Now it's becoming the recommended course of treatment because the results for chiropractic and things like acupuncture, massage are, are outstanding when it comes to pain, usually much higher than uh, medication. Now, if you do have to take medication, perfectly fine. If you need surgery, that's perfectly fine. But let's try something conservative first. And that's why we're so excited to get people well. But we also, there are things that you have control over. If you have a pinched nerve, chances are you can't fix it on your own. You're going to have to come see us and we're going to have to work with you. But the things like uh, perfumes and colognes and hairsprays and ca car fresheners, you have control over that. I took an Uber ride the other day and oh my gosh, the car just stunk. It had those little air fresheners stuck right in, right in the vents. Oof, it was horrible. And I had the windows open. I'm like, oh, put the air conditioner on. No, I'm good. I'm going to open the windows. I'm good. Because when you understand what happens when you put these chemicals in your body, why they're so dangerous, you start to live a whole different lifestyle. And it's really kind of cool, actually. I like it. Lead. Now, this is a big one. I'm going to cover a little bit more. I got a lot of callers. So, folks, if you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, and we'll get to you. Okay, well, I promise I'll get to my callers. 844-44-DR-JOE. I want to cover lead, then I'll start taking some callers. Drinking water, anything made from vinyl, which is PVC pipe, children's toys, shower curtains, backpacks, raincoats, umbrellas, pacifiers, teething rings, children's face paint, lipstick, the paint on metal toys and jewelry, many of them contain lead. Now, lead and other heavy metals, such as cadmium and nickel, are contaminants. They naturally occur in some of these pigments. It's not like they're put in there on purpose. Detectable levels of lead were found in over 400 lipsticks that were tested by the Food and Drug Administration. So ladies, perhaps gentlemen, when you put lipstick on, chances are very high, almost 100%, you're putting lead on your lips. Now your lips are very permeable. They absorb things very quickly. And when heavy metals get into the body, they can cause some real serious neurological problems. Now some people can detoxify heavy metals. Some people put the heavy metals in, mercury, lead, cadmium, and the body gets rid of it. Other people has a real tough time getting rid of it. And if that's the case, you've got problems because the mercury is kind of, or lead or, or cadmium, is kind of like throwing a wrench into an electrical socket. It short circuits everything. That's real simply put. 
what we do in our office, we do a lot of hair analysis on our patients. It's a real simple test, relatively inexpensive. And we just take a little bit of hair from the back of the skull or the armpits if we have to, the chest, anywhere, actually. And we can send it off for analysis, and we can determine the amount of heavy metal that you have in your body. And if you do have heavy metals, I go through a whole process of trying to get the heavy metals out of the system. And new research now is showing that people with autoimmune conditions might, not always, but might have heavy metal toxicity. The heavy metals are in the body, and your immune system are attacking these heavy metals. Trying, They don't know what it is. It's a foreign object. The immune system attacks it, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's heavy metal. The immune system can't, can kill viruses, germs, bacteria, fungus. They can't kill heavy metals. And so what happens is the immune system sends out more warriors and more warriors, and it hyper-stimulates the immune system, and then the immune system can get a little crazy and start attacking your own body, causing autoimmune conditions. And they're finding some of the studies now are linking things like Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, the body attacking itself, not good, a lot of bowel disorders. So the heavy metals could be a problem, and there is no say, safe level. That's the, that's the interesting part. It's a no neurotoxin. It plays a role in the development of learning delays, autism, other neurological problems. Uh, it's bad for kids, bad for adults. If It can also reach the developing fetus. So if you're pregnant or you're thinking about getting pregnant, be careful. Stay away from these things. Everyone should stay away from them, but you don't want to get these things into your baby. Folks, I'm going to start taking calls. By the way, follow me on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Instagram. We send out lots of good information there. Somebody sent me a message the other day and saying, well, I followed, I, I friended you on Facebook, but I don't see you posting anything. Well, Facebook has a weird algorithm. They don't, you don't see everything everybody posts that are your friends. So if you follow me, you're more likely to get that information. Or if you go to my website, drjoesposito.com, right on the front page, you can uh, sign up for my newsletter. It's no charge, and then we'll send you things out directly. So let's go to the callers. Marty, how can we make your day better? Hey, um, I was listening to the, your radio show on my way home, and I thought that you might in, find this interesting as well as your listeners. Um, back in 2011, Laura Turner Seidel, Ted Turner's daughter, mm -hmm. yes. um, underwent an environmental working group study and um, to have their blood tested to see if there were any toxins in their blood. Right. Ted Turner's blood showed up with high levels of heavy metals, such as mercury and lead, what you were just talking about. Her son showed up with the highest levels of flame retardants, Teflon, and get this, rocket fuel Yep. Uh -huh. in his blood. Wow. And, um, and then, of course, it goes on to list what she had in her blood. And these were as a result of using everyday, uh, like, personal care products. Yeah. Body soap, talking about. Yeah, yeah. The environmental working group's a good group. Yeah, I've used them before. I've, I've used them as a reference before. So that, that's a good group to look at, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I was just looking back on their website, and um, they have, like, EWG verified products, and it'll tell you. I mean, there are products the, that companies are pushing that are known to cause cancer in, in mice and rats. And women are spraying perfumes on their body with these with these chemicals in it. Yep, it's it's beyond disturbing. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Right. I think it's so important that people do research before they apply right. products on their skin. We're yep. we're very porous yep. beings, well, and it just goes yep. right into our blood system. Thanks, Marty. I appreciate the call. Thanks so much. Bye. And folks, if you, another way, the other thing you can do, we're going to be exposed to these chemicals no matter what. So you got to take care of yourself. You've got to keep yourself healthy. And from a nutrition standpoint, absolute minimum, I would say you take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Now, these are two products. They're powders. I have them sitting right in front of me here at the studio. And they're loaded with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Uh, it's the minimum amount, what we call the core nutrients that you need every single day. They taste great. I mix it with coconut milk or almond milk. I just shake it up and drink it at least once a day. Now, if I need a burst of energy, if I'm going to be uh, got a date, if I'm going on a hike, I'll take a double dose. But, folks, the minimum amount of nutrients, if, if you do nothing else, I'm begging you, at least get some nutrients into your body so your body is capable of dealing with some of these toxins. And if you want more information on that, I'm going to up against the break here. Go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world, and they're right on my website under store. So they're, they're great products. I At least try it for a month. Do it for a month, relatively inexpensive. In fact, I gave a lecture the other day, and a fellow said, Dr. Joe, I started taking your products. I'm skipping a meal now. So the money I'm saving on food is more, to double, triple what I'd be paying for your product. So it's really great. That's at drjoesposito.com. Also on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. 
Folks, gotta go to break. Don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Tell your friends about... I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. I am Dr. Joe Esposito, the aforementioned. Our friend Jeff Davis said that for me. And we're talking today about chemicals that are in your foods and in your makeups and how it's adversely affecting your body. And so Marilyn has a real good question for me. Marilyn, how can we make your day better? I need to get new carpet in the next few weeks. And in the past, I've heard of people that buy carpet and then they start having problems from the fumes from the carpet. Yep. And I'm, I'd like to know how to avoid that happening. What you know, can I look for when I buy the carpet? Well, it's a couple of things. If you're insisting on carpet, you can get natural cotton carpets that don't have any volatile organic compounds, VOCs. They're very expensive. Better choice would be to go with pre-finished hardwoods or tile because the carpet is going to outgas. It always does. Outgassing is when the chemicals come out. It always does, and it's just it's the nature of carpet. And that could take about six or eight months of these things outgassing. The other thing I don't like about carpets is that they're just a breeding ground for viruses and germs and mold because if you ever picked up an old carpet, and if you're going to get new carpet, you pick it up. Look what's underneath. All the dirt, usually some mold, a couple of dead bugs. Uh, I'm not a big fan of carpet. I don't have any carpet in my house or in my offices because it's just a highly toxic breeding ground. So could you go with pre-finished hardwoods or tiles? I don't know. I just I just like having carpet on the floor. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, then you have to spend a lot of money to get some natural ones. Um, and I know they exist. I don't even know where they are because I don't do carpets. Um, and if you do get it... I wish you wouldn't, but if you do, you're going to have to open your windows every single day and try to air that out as much as possible. Okay. That's it. I wish I had a better answer for you, Marilyn, but I just don't want you getting sick either. So. I didn't know if the dealer might know of uh, you yeah. know, some of their products that might be better than others. You could ask. I don't know if they're trained in that area. Um, it's certainly something to ask, though, yeah, because I, I, spent, I spent a good – once I learned about how toxic carpets are, and I had carpets. I moved into a house that was lived in before, so the carpets were already outgassed, but they're still a breeding ground, so I'm not a big yeah. fan. And, and there, right. there are some natural carpet cleaners you might want to consider, companies that come out and use special water and things to clean it. Uh, that's another option. You might want to do that as soon as they're installed. That might help get some of the gases out, too. Okay. Okay? Thank you. All right, Marilyn, yeah, we had a better answer for you. Show. Well, thanks. Thanks for telling your friends. I appreciate it. And thanks for everybody telling their friends because I can see whenever we're on the air and I'll say follow me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram and the, 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 the computer just lights up, which is kind of fun because uh, we do send out lots of good information there when we're giving lectures. Come out to the live lectures. They're a lot of fun. Um, got a few scheduled for the rest of the year, but uh, none of them, I think, public right now. But uh, next year we'll have some public ones available, so you can come out to those. Um, a lot of companies hire me, and if a company hires me, I can't invite the public, of course because they're they're paying so but a lot of public lectures i'd love to have you come to and i archive them i put them on my website and i don't charge you can watch any of the videos we have a lot of people got so many hits on those things and this coming upcoming weeks and next year we're going to be doing a lot more short videos because i've been doing like hour-long videos i'm going to start doing little five and ten minute videos just give me little health tips kind of taking this show and breaking it into segments so that you can uh, take this information. Most folks have ADD, so they can't watch a whole hour, or they won't watch a whole hour. So we'll give you little segments as well. And if you follow us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram, you'll get all those inf that information when we launch one, so you can watch them and share them with your friends. Because it's my old slog slogan I haven't used in a while. This is healthcare that really, really works. Not saying the other stuff doesn't, but this really does. So we're talking about chemicals. Oh, phone lines are open. 844-44-DR-JOE. 844-44-DR-JOE. Give Johnny something to do. He's, he's my screener in there. I don't want him falling asleep on me. So, No, Johnny's always busy in there. 844-44-DR-JOE. That number, by the way, rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. So if you have questions and you got to reach me, uh, it's better you send them to me through the website, drjoesposito.com. But if you have to call, you can always call. Some people want to make appointments or get more information uh, where our offices are located. 844-44-DR-JOE. Call right now. And uh, we talked earlier about Super Greens, an essential source, and somebody sent me a message on Facebook about that. Super, what is it? Super Greens uh, is wheatgrass, barleygrass, and alfalfa grass, which alkalizes the system and just loads you up on minerals. Now, somebody sent me a message as well saying that it's wheatgrass. Doesn't that have gluten? And the answer is no, because wheatgrass doesn't have gluten. Gluten forms when the wheat berry forms, when the kernel forms. So wheatgrass is gluten-free, which is kind of nice. And that's excellent for alkalizing the system, loading your body up with minerals. It has omega-3 fatty acids in it, and it has iodine, 
most people are deficient in iodine. And when you get tested, most people never even test their iodine, but when you do test for iodine and you're low, you got to start getting iodine in the body, not only for the thyroid, but every cell in the body needs it. It's like vitamin D, every cell in the body needs it. So that's the super greens. The essential source, we take raw fruits and vegetables and juice them, take the water out at a very low temperature so the enzymes are, are preserved, and one serving of, of, of Dr. Joe's essential source is about 10 servings of raw fruits and vegetables. So imagine the co- it's about a dollar a day. So imagine trying to buy 10 servings of raw fruits and vegetables. You can't do it. I mean, if you could, but it's very expensive and it's going to go bad. You got to clean it, wash it. Then we add prebiotics, probiotics, and a complete multivitamin as well. So that's why I think everybody should be taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source at least once a day. And I give you the challenge. Take it for a month. See how you feel. And if you feel better, take it forever. I think you should take it forever because it's something that it's the core nutrients that we need. All right, so we're talking about, new, uh, and that's available on the website, drjoesposito.com, also available on uh, Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, you can pick it up there. My books are also available there too, both places. So we're talking about contaminants that are in your food and your personal care products, and it's a big issue because a lot of people are getting sick from it and they don't realize it. And they stop doing it and they go, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. I stopped using perfume and my sinus is cleared up. Yeah, so just don't use perfume. But we covered a little bit on lead before. I want to get a little deeper into that. And again, we can do a hair analysis at our office to test for heavy metals. But if you live in a home built before 1978, uh, if if you have your water and your paint services tested, because chances are there's lead in there. Use filters, replace pipes, have your paint sealed by professionals if appropriate. Don't scrape it down. You want to seal over it. It's pretty bad. Run cold water in the morning if you have some old pipes, even new pipes. Just run the water for a minute or two just to clean out the water that's been sitting in the pipes that may have been collecting some of those toxins. Steer clear of vinyl or painted toys, jewelry, and other gear that's made in China or other parts of Asia. That's where a lot of these uh, positive lead tests come from. So try to get things made in America if you can. And uh, when you eat seafood, I wish you didn't. Chances are you're going to get mercury there, folks, and mercury is really toxic. Hey, got to go to a break. If you have a question, give me a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. You can order Dr. Joe Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, uh, all there. Send me questions through the website if you want. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. The number here again for questions, 844-44-DR-JOE, and that number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, don't go anywhere. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Good show today. We're talking about uh, toxic chemicals that you find in household uh, products and in personal care products because so many people come to our offices and they want to get well, and that we're really good at that. My team of chiropractors and I, we're really good at getting people well, and we work on their diet, and we work on their getting the spine lined up, taking pressure off the nerves, and we help them with neck pain and back pain and shoulder pain. You might have acid reflux and heartburn. Many times that's your stomach pushed up against your diaphragm, and we need to pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm, physically adjust the stomach. And I'd say about 80% of our patients that we test for this have it. That's how common this is. I have it. And when mine acts up, I get rapid heart rate. I get burping. I get uh, acid reflux. My throat burns, chronic sore throat. And so a lot of these problems are physical, not chemical. And so many people try to treat it chemically. Like we can give you medication to neutralize your stomach acid. And does that work? It works great. However, does it fix the problem? No, it doesn't. We may have to manually pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. Very gentle. It doesn't hurt. But when mine acts up, I'll know right away. My heart's beating real fast. I might have a lot of burping. And I'll say, oh, time to fix my stomach. Grab one of my doctors. Hey, Dr. Cat, work on my stomach. She pulls it down and I'm fine. So all my doctors are trained by me, handpicked by me, and are as good or better than I am. I mean that when people come in the office, and they are, because they're all experts in their field, and we train them. We're always constantly training each other, which is great. So you have six people working on your cases when you come into our offices, not just one. So it's nice to have six eyes and six uh, sets of hands that can work on you if necessary. But I digress. You have to take care of the chemicals, and that's the key, because we can take care of the spine and help you with the pain or the misaligned vertebrae, but you have to work on the chemicals. And so that's what we're talking today about toxins in household uh, products as well as personal care products. Like even something as simple as dry cleaning. How many people get clothes dry cleaned? I do. Raise your hands, right? Most dry cleaning formulas have something in it called PERC. And it's perchloroethylene. And it off gases. It, 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 It gets, it smells. You know how to smell of dry cleaners? That's PERC, perchloroethylene. 
And when you breathe it in, short-term exposure can cause things like dizziness, fatigue, sweating, and headaches. Long-term exposure can cause liver and kidney damage, memory loss, and cancer. I did see one study that people that work in a dry cleaning business are more susceptible to certain diseases because you're inhaling these chemicals. So what do you do? You got it. I, I have you know dry clean only pants. What am I going to do with it? A dry clean only jacket. Well, if you can hand wash or gentle cycle some of the clothes instead of dry cleaning them, you're going to save money and it's going to be better for you. However, when you do dry clean, as soon as you pick them up, take the bag off and leave it outside. I put it in my garage and I'll just hang it in my garage and I'll let it air out for a couple of days and let it outgas. That's the word we use. Outgas. Get the chemicals out of there. And don't bring it right into your closet and hang it in your closet because those chemicals are going to get into your other clothes as well. Hang it out on your porch if you have a place to hang it outside. But at least I put it in my garage. And when it stops smelling, it's probably safe to bring back in. So these are just you know household chemicals, again, that you may be getting into your body. Now, if you get it once, is it going to kill you? And chances are no. But everything we're talking about today is cumulative. The mercury, the lead, the polyvinyl chlorides, the phthalates the sodium lauryl sulfates. You're bombarding your body with these things all day, every day. In fact, we used to put bisphenol A on, uh, in bottles and on pacifiers and in kids' toys. And then suddenly there's this outrage. Oh, don't use bisphenol A, which is good. And now you see things that say BPA-free. But imagine this. We had a chemical that is a hormone disruptor for, ch- for children, for infants, and we put it on that pacifier. How insane is that? Folks, if you have a healthcare question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Let's go to the callers now. Elaine, how can we make your day better? I was just wondering, I believe I pulled a ligament or something pushing a transfer cart with a patient in it through the airport. Oh, yes. Is this something that I can take care of at home, or do I need to see a chiropractor? Um, It depends. I always say if something lasts more than three days, it's probably a good idea to come see us. Because if it's just three days, you probably pull the muscle. But if it's going on longer, if the ligaments are stretched or the muscles are damaged and the bones are out of alignment, my concern with you, Elaine, is it's going to heal crooked. I want you to heal straight. So it would probably be a good idea to get it checked and make sure everything's, if it's out of alignment, get it realigned so you don't take that chance and then have scar tissue and, and more permanent damage. Yeah, okay. A second question. Sure. What about, what about using a propane heater in your home? Not a big fan. Nope, that propane, it, 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 it has that gas. It lets, it's left off, to, lets off toxic gases. Yeah, so I'm not a big fan of that either, unfortunately. So, oh, okay. What yeah. type of gases do, what was, do we get exposed to? What, say it again? What type of gases do we get exposed to? Well, propane. Propane is the gas, and when it burns off, it, it, oh. it, it releases the toxic chemicals into the air. So um, not a big fan. That's why, you know, forced air, you know, is probably going to be your best bet. If you want to get a, a heating disc, I have one in, in my house cause I got high ceilings in my house. And so I have a, the heating disc. I bought it at one of the big box stores and you turn it on and it just radiates the heat. And that stuff is great as well. And I enjoy that. Um, uh, but even, yeah, say it again. heating disc. Yeah. It looks like a big fan is, it looks like a giant fan. And when you turn it on, it just heats up an element and then it, it reflects the heat onto you. So that's for, for a room. But uh, again, propane, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, unfortunately. So, okay, okay, okay. Well, thank you so much. All right, Lane. If you want to come see us, just dial eight four 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 Doctor Joe uh, when I'm not on the air. Okay, we'll do. Thank Th- you. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's what's nice about having this number. We through, through technology, we can now forward it. I've been on radio now for a long time, and uh, back in the old days, we couldn't do things like that. So we're talking about chemicals, and a lot of good questions about chemicals. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got another caller. Let's take let's take the next caller. Uh, Rick, how can we make your day better? Yes, Doctor Joe. I live in a mobile home, and I got skirting all the way around the bottom, so the the uh, air is kind of trapped under there. But oh, yeah. I open the windows and doors every day for an hour or so to. Uh, You know, kind of dilute the radon gas. What do you think? I think that's brilliant. I think everyone should always open your windows and doors as often as you possibly can because you want to circulate air through the house. There's always going to be some toxic buildup in the house um, just just by being there. So I think that's a great idea. Even gas stoves, they let off toxic chemicals. And so that's why it's a good idea. What you're doing, Rick, is brilliant, and I appreciate you sharing that with our listeners. Thanks, Doc. All right, Rick, appreciate the call. Thanks so much. See, you guys are smart, man. I love my listeners. I got the smartest listeners in the world. If you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. We got, oh, 
going to have to go to break. Ah, so much more to cover. Not enough time. We got lots, lots more time. Folks, if you have a question, once again, 844 Joe. Got to go to break. Do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. I am so glad that you spent a little time with me. We're having a good, te- good show today. Lots of good callers. Lots of good information. We're talking about toxic chemicals that are found in household uh, in f- things you use around the house, as well as personal care products. And so a lot of people coming up with some really good questions. So uh, let's, uh, let's go back to them right away. There we go. Fantasia, how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. How you doing? I'm happy you called. Well, I'm happy I called, too. I just happened to turn on the radio, and I heard your other caller ask the question about the um, propane yes. heater in the house. And uh-huh. I was just going to purchase uh, an infrared um, portable heater for my room. Like My room is fairly large, and uh-huh. the AC system yep. doesn't cover it. Yep. Uh, so I, I that's was wondering a, what you thought about that. I, have, I've, I found no bad research or no negative side effects of the infrared heater, so I think you should be good with that one. Okay. Have you also heard of infragen? I, I, someone told me it was probably something more advanced than the infrared, but mm, I didn't. I didn't yeah. see much on it. Never heard of that one before. So you got me on that one. You win. You stop. Oh, me. Well, <laughs> I guess it's as good as mine. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, no, I think well, you should, th- that should be no problem at all. Okay. Well, great. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Fantasia. I appreciate it. And folks, if you do use a room heater, make sure you have moisture in the room. This is important because heat can dry out the room, of course. And that's why humidifiers, I know in the summer you need dehumidifiers, and in the winter you need humidifiers, but humidity is important because if you start drying out your sinuses or drying out your skin, it can be a real serious problem. So if you start waking up with, you know, crust around your nose or your eyes dried out or your lips dried out, you might want to consider getting a humidifier. I grew up in Hoboken, New Jersey, and in the apartments we had radiators. And um, the heat was controlled by uh, one person. You know, the whole house was controlled by one person. Each, each apartment didn't have its own. So it was either always too hot or too cold, depending which depart- apartment you were in. But I remember put, just putting, a, a, like, turkey b- pans of water on the radiators to put moisture into the air. And that's really important because the dry air can cause problems. So make sure you stay hydrated. And that's a big issue that most of us don't pay attention to. Because when you're thirsty, you're probably already too f- uh, far gone. And the thing is this, when you were a baby, when you were an infant, there was a part of your brain that controlled hunger and a part of your brain that controlled thirst. And that's why if you ever had an infant around you, they're always, I want to drink, I want to drink, I want to drink, I want to drink. And then as they become toddlers and older, those two parts of the brain grow together. So you have a tough time distinguishing between hunger and thirst. And that's why many times, and this is one of the lectures I do on weight loss, when you're hungry, you're not hungry for food, you're thirsty. And this is a little secret I'm going to share with you, especially as you start going to the holiday season and parties. I want you to drink a big glass of water, 8, 10, 12 ounces, before every meal, about a half hour before every meal. Notice how much less food you eat. You'll be fascinated, and you'll have more energy, and you'll sleep better, unless you drink it late at night, then you got to get up and pee. But you'll be amazed when you start rehydrating your body what happens, because most of us are dehydrated. And it, this is a good one, slows down the aging process. The cells in the, in the skin need to be moist. And when they dry out, they wrinkle. That's one of the things that causes wrinkling. So moisture is going to be really, really important. And if you put lotion on your skin, the lotion doesn't make your skin soft. The lotion just locks in the fluid from escaping. And if you put it on your lips, while we're talking about this, go off on a tangent. If you put it on your lips, some of those lip balms or lip things you put on your, uh, on your mouth contain alcohol. Alcohol dries out your skin. So what do you want to do? You want to use more of this lip gloss or lip balm. And so it's a really smart little marketing tool. They give you something that causes your lips to dry out because they have to use more of their product. Brilliant. So look at the ingredients and make sure it's just it doesn't have any alcohol in it. If it's alcohol, I would strongly advise that you don't use it. Make sense? Good. You're paying attention. If you have a question, give me a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. 844-44-DR-JOE is the number here in the studio, and that rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air, but I am on the air. So you call it now, 844-44-DR-JOE. Susan, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe, I uh, really appreciate you taking my call. Um, I got a couple of things. One is I always seem to have this metallic taste in my mouth. And I say always. It's not like all the time. But I understand. A lot of the time. Even sure. like right now, I notice, what in the heck? Well, I haven't it. eaten anything recently, so it's not like it's – I can't relate it to anything going on right. that well, I'm It could be a couple doing. of things. Metallic taste, this is not an uncommon question. I get it a lot. Uh, it could be medications. 
Sometimes medications will do that. So if you're on a certain medication, you can check the side effects of the medication, see if metallic taste is one of them. Uh, could be pregnancy. Anything you need to tell me, Susan? No, no, no. Okay, all right, no. Right, just making no, sure. I'm way past that. All right. <laughs> way past that. Way, way, way past that. Uh, could be a food allergy. And here's a little mm. test I want you to do with food allergies. You do something called a rotation diet. But this is how you can tell if you have a reaction to food. And this is a real cheap way to test something. Sit down, rest for a minute or two, and take your pulse. Okay? Count it for okay. 60 seconds and just take your pulse, see what it is, and whatever it is, 60, 70, whatever it is, okay? Then mm -hmm. eat one food that you think you might be having a reaction to. Eat bread, eat dairy products, eat, uh, okay. I don't know, grapefruit, whatever it is. Wait about a minute or two and then take your pulse again. If the pulse goes up more than five beats in that time, you may be having an allergic reaction to that food. Wow. So it's a cheap little way. It's not, a, you know, it's not foolproof, but it's a good way to test things. So you might be having a food reaction as well. So that could do huh. it. And in very rare cases, it could be an early sign of Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease, but you can combine that with other symptoms. But the chances are very, very <clears throat> slim in that case. Oh, wow. Well, <clears throat> I guess I'm... I'm, I'm getting to be the age of Alzheimer's, but mm -hmm. I, if you don't mind, I have one more quick question. Go ahead. I've had a terrible cold for the last 10 days. Uh -huh. It's all in my chest, in my sure. head. I feel like I got a head full of helium. Right. I have, I've tried everything under the sun. Clearly it is ineffective. Right. What is the Dr. Joe method of getting rid of the helium head and okay. congestion and all? I have two products. They're being actually being shipped to me next week. It's one of them is it, we, we used to call it Dr. Joe's cold and flu tonic. We're changing name on it, and the other one was called Dr. Joe's immune booster. And the immune stimulator okay. is uh, Paudiarco olive leaf extract, Sumer root. It stimulates your white blood cell production. I take that every day in the winter okay. because it keeps my immune Great. system strong. If I do feel a cold coming on. I take Dr. Joe's, what will, you know, it'll be the, I can't call it cold and flu tonic anymore because it's, we're saying we're treating a disease, but, and it's ginger, yeah. horseradish, cayenne pepper, onion, and garlic, and we puree that in apple cider vinegar. It tastes awful, but I tell you yeah. what, it works. People, <laughs> you know, pilots carry it with them. Um, people, flight attendants, I always take it with me when I travel, and if I do start feeling it, I take that. So check my website in, a, website in about a week. Hopefully, it'll be up there, and you can get some of that. Great. The other thing be great. everyone should be doing, especially in the winter, is Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. I mean, that uh, when I become Grand Poobah of the universe, it's going to be mandatory <laughs> that everyone take this every day. Because it's well, just... I'm actually on your doctor on the, the greens already. Oh, you are? Good. Okay. If you have yeah. a cold and yeah. you're feeling a little tired, double up on it. Take it twice a okay. day instead of once a day. A lot of times that'll give you the, 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 the boost that you need because it really helps the immune system. Okay. It's the minimum amount okay. of nutrients that you need. So I strongly advise if you haven't tried them, I'm, I'm assuming you would advise that people do take them. Right, Susan? You bet. Oh, take yeah. Them. Stuff's amazing, right? Yeah. Okay. So try that you and know. see what happens. And in the meantime, you can just try chewing on some garlic cloves. Take a garlic clove and smash it. Maybe oh, put yeah. it in a garlic press and do about a clove. That'll make me. Yeah, that, that works great for cold and flu, so. Yeah, it also reduces your, your number of friends. Too, yeah, it's a great form of birth think. control, right? Yeah, I know. So <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to come near you. <laughs> Susan, got to go. for the pregnancy. <laughs> got to go to a break, Susan. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Thanks. Folks, if you have a question, give us a call. The number here is 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. My website, if you want to order Super Greens, an essential source, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Also, Amazon. Amazon has a, we have an Amazon page as well for the Super Greens, the essential source, my books. And the website's a great source of information, too. Hey, got to go to a break. Don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Tell your friends about the Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad you spent a little time with me today. If you're just joining us, welcome. Uh, we're talking about some uh, toxic chemicals that are found in ho household items and in personal care products. And uh, we've kind of gone on a run down a few rabbit holes today, which is great. I love when the show does this. And we started talking about toxic gases and chemicals, uh, outgassing from carpets, uh, paints. All these things are bad. Uh, pipes even. I mean, I remember when I was young, my father would always turn the, the pipes on, run the water in the kitchen sink, and he'd wave his little pinky under it. And I just remember that. He'd bend over the kitchen sink and r r run it, and I always thought, that's an odd thing. I never knew why. And then I understood why. Because the toxic chemicals that were building up in the pipes, my father was just brilliant. My father was just a brilliant man. He knew that there were toxic waste products building up in the pipes overnight, so when you turn the water on, you want to run the, run the water through the pipes. And he always said, run the water a few bit, clean out the pipes. And I thought, what are you cleaning out the pipes for? It's pure water. So he knew these things. And, and oftentimes, uh, back to the, I don't know if we had lead pipes back then, but the lead was an issue. 
because lead is a heavy metal that can get in your body. And in fact, it's even been theorized that one of the reasons the, the Roman Empire collapsed is because they used lead pipes. And it was brilliant that they were able to transport water, but the lead may have gotten into the, uh, the occupants of Rome and caused some real serious neurological damage. And they're finding that now because when they do um, uh, analysis on the skeletons, they're finding a heavy, heavy uh, lead content. And that was a big issue, too, because bone broth was, a, was a, a hot topic for a while. People were doing bone broth. Oh, it was great. It was healthy. It was wonderful. But if the animals were fed a, a non-organic diet, if they use non-organic bones, the lead can build up in the bones. And then when you're making the broth, it can be released into the broth. So you're actually, what you think is something good for you can actually be something very bad for you. And this is just another reason why you want to use organic everything, especially animal products. Now, I don't use any animal products. I haven't, I haven't had any animal products in over 30 years. I've been a vegan for over 30 years. I'm not asking you to do that. So don't get nervous. I know whenever I give a lecture, people always look at me. Oh, oh he's going to make it. No, no, I'm not going to make you do anything. Just take a breath. It's okay. This is my personal choice. If you knew what I knew, you would do what I do. I promise you. If you had in your brain what I have in my brain when it comes to health, you would get regular chiropractic care, not just when you have pain, but you would get there, keep the spine healthy because the nervous system controls everything. And you can have a pinched nerve and not know it. And that's why chiropractic care becomes a, a way of life. You would eat more of a plant-based diet. I mean, I eat a totally plant-based diet. You would eat about 60% of your diet or more raw. So you would have something raw at every meal, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, salad. You would be taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source at least once a day. That's the minimum. And I made these supplements because I said, how can I make it so simple for the public to get their minimum amount of nutrients? And that's why I created them. And they are so popular. Most people just love them. Very seldom does anyone ever say, oh, I didn't like it. And if they don't like it, maybe the flavor for some reason, everybody has different flavor levels that they like and don't like, but you can add a little stevia to it or mix it with coconut milk or almond milk. That's what I do. It tastes great by itself. But if you knew what I knew, you would do at least that much. Make sure the spine is working properly. Make sure the digestive system is working properly. Take super greens and essential source every day. We do nutritional workup for all our patients. We do it all over the world for patients so we can advise you as to what to take. So this way you can fight off the toxic chemicals that are found in household items and in uh, personal care products. And clean out, your, clean out your bathroom, folks, and get rid of a lot of those personal care products. You'll be amazed what happens. All right, let's go back to the callers. If you have a question, give me a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. Joseph, how can we make your day better? Dr. Joe, yes. well, it's getting better and better just listening to you. I called with a specific question, but the more I listen to you talk, the more things that just pop in my mind, I'd love to uh, know what you know, like you said. Beautiful. I, I'm uh, very flattered. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm going to uh, do some reading, check out your website. Excellent. And see how what I can learn from you. But I called specifically when I turned on the radio, I had heard you mentioning propane and toxic gases. Me yes. and my family just moved into a house, and it's all propane utilities, mm. stove, hot water, heater. Sure. Um, and so just – Saying that, what type of risk are we potentially facing with that? And are there things that we should do to combat it? Or how serious are the effects? And what exactly should we do to stay safe there? Or should we move? Well, I mean, uh, there is an issue here. There really is. I mean, I have a gas stove in my house, but I have really high ceilings. But I always, if I'm going to use my stove a lot, which I, I don't really, um, I always make sure I have a window open. Although the gases go right. up in my high ceilings, which is great, but there's studies out there now that just burning, you know, natural gas can cause problems. But if you start seeing any of the symptoms, it, it can affect the central nervous system. So as a chiropractor, of course, I'm very concerned about the nervous system. But if you start having lung congestion, uh, you start fluid in your lungs, coughing a lot, fatigue, decreased night vision or tunnel vision, it has an interesting effect on the optic nerve. Hallucinations, dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, vomiting, headaches, uh, sense of euphoria. All of a sudden, you start feeling like you're stoned. Uh, of course, the headaches, the numbness, the tingling, hyperventilation, rapid heart rate, these can all be signs of low-level exposure uh, to propane. Wow. So if you start seeing any of that, do you have children? Yeah, three. Okay, yeah. So notice them because they're going to be more susceptible than you are. Um, but notice right. how they act and how they start uh, responding, especially in the winter when the windows are closed. And if you see some of these uh, issues, it might be something that you might want to consider, either rewiring the house or repiping the house, whatever it would be. 
And to get a propane boiling to water, it's probably not that big a deal if you're a hot water heater. But where are those gases coming from a hot water heater? Up into the house. All right. So we have a lot more information we, now than we had when we were kids, when I was a kid anyway. And so right. use that knowledge to your benefit. Well, I know it's uh, all speculative, but what type of time frame as far as, let's say we moved in a, a week, how soon could symptoms start to show themselves depending on the amount of exposure? Uh, everybody's different. I wish I had an answer yeah. for that, but it could happen right, right away. Yeah, because everybody's, really? some people are more sensitive than others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Okay, I'll do some more research on that. Thank you. Yeah, research that a little bit, Joseph. I think I think that'd be a real good thing for you and your family. Thanks so much for listening. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yes, Bye. Folks, if you have a question, just like Joseph, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. My website is there 24 hours a day. You can send me questions. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. But, you know, Joseph was talking about kids. Uh, kids in chiropractic are just something that should be a natural all my friends that are chiropractors and a lot of my patients, you get their kids checked as soon as they're born because if the spine is straight, they grow straight. If the spine is crooked, they grow crooked. And a lot of people have issues with their children and they bring them in and they get some great results. And a lot of you, and this is something Dr. Gale always reminds me, one of my doctors, she says, we get people coming in every day and say, Dr. Joe, I've been a fan of yours for two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. I always wonder what takes people so long to make the move to get well. Now, you can be, well, Johnny, what was that name you called yourself? Can I call you at that, what you called yourself on the air? Was it Knucklehead, I think he said? <laughs> Johnny says, I hear you. I know what you're saying. He says, I hear you all the time. Johnny's my screener. Um, he says, I know what you're saying. He says, I just, I, I, I do some of it, but I just don't do all of it. So don't wait. Because if you're waiting, chances are the problem is going to get worse. And if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, it's probably a good time to go to my website, like Joseph said. Go on, listen to hundreds of hours of radio shows and learn what you need to learn to get well. And it's no charge. Listen to it. If you have questions, I'm there for you. Folks, got to go to break. My website, if you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, send me questions, listen to radio shows, watch videos, read my articles that I've written, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Show. Hey, folks, thanks for spending a little time with me. Ooh, my voice cracked there. It must be puberty. A young guy like me, it happens sometimes, you know, when you're, you're a youthful uh, lad like myself. And we're talking today about uh, toxic chemicals that are found in household uh, products and in personal care products. And these, this is big because you'll notice we didn't talk a lot about nutrition today. Normally, if you tune into the show, we talk about nutrition and brain function. And we got so much to cover when it comes to health care. In fact, I was talking to my boss, Pete, the other day, and he says, you know, you only have a finite amount of information that you can cover when it comes to health care. He says, in every show, you, you, you put a different twist on it. He says, it's always exciting. And I said, that, that's good. Thank you, boss. Glad the boss was listening. And that's what we try to do is we try to cover things from different angles because I may say it one way and you'll hear blah, 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 blah. And then I'll say it another way. You go, oh, that's me. And that's just how the brain works. Some people are, are listen to things differently. And... Um, I mentioned earlier about seafood, and I really didn't get the cover because we were up against the break. But most seafood today, unfortunately, is high in mercury. And what happens is this. In Asia, there's a lot of coal-burning plants. They burn the coal. The oil goes, the smoke goes up into the air. It comes down. It settles down in the ocean. And this uh, mercury, methyl mercury, uh, the bacteria, uh, the, the, the lowest form of, 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 of uh, the plant life, start to eat it. And then it works its way up the food chain. And so the bigger the fish, the more fatty fish, like tuna, for example, uh, the bigger they are, the more they've eaten over their lifetime, the more they've accumulated mercury. And so the chance of having mercury toxicity is pretty high. That's why I'm not a big fan of fish oil as a source of omega-3 fatty acids. Now, if you're going to do fish oil, they can, they can cold distill it and take the mercury out, and that's a good thing. But other than that, I'd rather you do krill oil, which is in what's called a phospholipid form, which is easier to absorb. Or the best source is algae oil. I do an algae oil omega-3. It's, it's expensive. It's not cheap. It's about a dollar a day, a little more than a dollar a day, actually, to take it. But to me, it's worth it. And the thing is this. What you're going to save so much money if you're healthy. Um, like I said, somebody uh, was taking my products. I was giving a lecture uh, a couple of days ago. And the guy said, Dr. Joe, I started taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. He says, I got to warn you, though. He says, you got to eat less food. Because I was taking a super greasy essential source and I was eating, he says, and I started to gain weight. And I realized that I'm not hungry once I take the super greasy essential source. I'm less hungry. I should say I'm less hungry. He says, the money I'm saving on food alone triples what I'm paying for the supplements. He says, I'm making money by taking them. 
And he says, I feel great. I'm losing weight. So it's one of the benefits of giving your body a lot of nutrients is that you're probably going to eat less food and you're going to save a ton of money. And so if you want to splurge and get yourself some really good omega-3 fatty acids, you can get crazy, man. It's a good thing. Right, let's go back to the callers. Uh, Peggy, how can we make your day better? Well, you were ta- you've were you talked a couple times now, in fact, just a minute ago, about mercury. Yes. Um, being a little bit older than you are, back in the 50s when we would break a thermometer, sure. my parents let us play with that lovely, yes. liquid, weird, uh-huh. silver yep. metal that was plopped in our hands, and we'd rub it on to pennies and pretend oh. they were dimes. And uh-huh. how much of that mercury is still in my body? Depends on your body. Uh, we played with it too, Peggy. Uh, I know, right? If our parents, <laughs> if they knew what we were doing, they would have never let us. Now it's funny because we played with it. If you yeah. break a mercury thermometer now, technically you're supposed to call in a hazmat team, shut down the whole I... unit, whatever you're in, and clean out the whole building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. like I said, rubbed it on I, pennies. I, re- I read that. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that funny? Um, uh-huh. Chances are if it was going to do damage, it would have done damage already. So that's the good news because some people can detoxify mercury and some people can't. And that's where the problem comes in because the mercury is in every – it's in vaccines. It's in, uh, it's in fish. It's in car exhaust when you're driving down the highway. So most people can detoxify it pretty well. We do a hair analysis in our office on our patients, and we determine if they uh-huh. have heavy metal toxicity. And if they do, then we put them on a heavy metal detox. Um, but chances are we would have done it already to you if it was going to do it to you. So. Okay. I was just curious. I do remember playing with oh, it. Oh, it was fun, wasn't it? It wasn't liquid. It wasn't solid, you know. And, in fact, um, yeah, Shakespeare it used it. It break apart and it joined back together oh, yeah. again. It was a lot of fun. Shakespeare talked about somebody being mercurial, meaning that you couldn't pin them down. They had a you know mercurial personality. And, right. And that that because it just kind of moves around a lot. You're not sure what you're getting with that person, and so that's what mercury does. And the, the younger kids don't know what that looks like, but don't play with the kids. Peggy and I, Peggy and I did stupid things when we were young. So, <laughs> all right, Peggy. Any other questions? Know. Well, thank you, and thanks for all you do. And uh, all you tell us. Appreciate your kind words. Thank Peggy. Yeah, folks, and, and you know we save these shows on the website. I say this a lot because people, and when you listen to radio, this is why I say things often is because people tune in and out. And Amad always reminds me to tease my upcoming topics, and I didn't today. And Amad, you need to smack me in the back of the head. I'm going to get like a billboard and just flash it yes. up for you. And yes, say, hey, yes. Put tease. up a teaser. Put That's right. Up. Yes. So Amad, you have every right to hit me in the back of the head or smack me in the back of the head, as my uncles used to say. So. <laughs> Um, it's, but we do save the shows. We archive them on my website. It's no charge to listen to them. Hundreds of hours there. And it's wonderful because I can watch my website and I can see how many people are listening at any one time. And sometimes it's amazing. And it's cool because we can see what parts of the world they're listening from. And it's Guam and it's Germany and it's England. And uh, it's just kind of cool. And if you're listening around the world, I do appreciate you, you tuning in because it's, it's information for everyone across the country. Uh, good idea to follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram because we do send out good information. Uh, if you go to my website, drjoesposito.com, right on the home page, send me your email address. I'll put you on my newsletter list, no charge. And we'll also, if you sign up for the newsletter, we're going to send you a present because girls love presents. We're going to send you a, vi- a lecture that I did called, So What Can I Eat? And it's an hour-long lecture, and it talks about breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, going to parties, raising kids, and it's no charge. Just give me your email address. I'm going to email you the link. Uh, to that lecture and share that. Share it with anyone you want to. You have my permission to to send it around the world. It's been around the world several times, that that show. And we videotape my live lectures. Uh, Come out to the live lectures. Find out where I'm speaking. Love to have you come out. It's a lot of fun. And you can watch the videotapes of the live lectures because some people are visual learners and some people are auditory. And everyone should be trying Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. At least do it for a month and see how you feel. And chances are, I don't know anyone who's not seen a positive reaction um, you can go to the website, drjoesposito.com, order them there, or you can order them on Amazon if you want. It has a, on the website, has a description of what they are. They're two powders. I mix them with coconut milk, ramen milk, shake it up and drink it. This stuff's pretty amazing. And you hear the callers call in too, that this stuff is a uh, pretty rocking. So I'd, I'd recommend you do that relatively inexpensive. It's probably uh, between the two of them. It's about a dollar a day for each of them. So $2 a day. And you're probably going to eat a lot less food and you'll feel better. Maybe live longer. Isn't that cool? And uh, somebody called earlier about uh, flame retardants being found in blood, and that's true. Uh, there's per- perfluorinated uh, compounds, uh, brominated uh, uh, chemicals that they put in the foods. I talked about brominated vegetable oil on a show a while ago. Brominated vegetable oil uh, is used in uh, drinks to prevent the chemicals from separating, uh, but many times it's used as a flame retardant, 
and that can cause some real serious problems too because bromine can block up your thyroid gland and prevent you from properly absorbing iodine. And if you can't absorb iodine, you can have thyroid problems. And most of us don't get enough iodine in our diet anyway. Folks, if you missed the show, if you're just tuning in, you missed a great show, but it's going to be on the website, like I said, drjoesposito.com. Hey, get my books. Try the Super Greens. Try the Essential Source. Got some really good products coming out of help the cold and immune systems coming up. That's all on the website, drjoesposito.com. Any questions, send them to me through the website. I'll get them as soon as I can. Hey, if I don't say it enough, thanks so much for listening. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time. Tell your friends.